Time is an illusion that helps things make sense So we're always living in the present tense It seems unforgiving when a good thing ends But you and I will always be back then You and I will always be back then You and I will always be back then Hello and welcome back to another guitar tutorial. Today we're going to learn Time Adventure from Adventure Time. Now there are a couple things that you need to know before we get started. So this tutorial is directly referencing Rebecca Sugar's performance live. And on her performance she was playing it on a ukulele. And while you can play open guitar chords, in my opinion, I don't think they sound very good for this particular song. So what you're going to need is a capo or a capo, and you're going to need to put it on the fifth fret. And what that basically means is that you're playing a ukulele in low G tuning, which is these four strings. And so we're going to use a mix of both ukulele chords and guitar chords for this song. And for reference, I'm not going to call this the sixth fret. I'm going to start from here onwards. So this is the first fret, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc, etc. So with all that in mind, let's get started. So the first chord you're going to need is a C major 7. So that's the first string on the second fret, the second string open, the third string open, and the low E string on the third fret. And you play only these four strings, right? So the second chord is very easy. You just take this finger off, which is the first string on the second fret, and you play this string, which is low E string on the third fret, and the rest of the three strings open. So the picking pattern goes like this. play that twice and then you come over to the next chord which is an F major 7. So the way you play this chord is you bar the first four strings on the fifth fret and you take a finger and you place it on the seventh fret on the first string. And right after that chord is an F6 which is the same thing you just take this finger away and you play only this fret. And the picking pattern is still the same. Right? So the way you play the intro is you play all of that twice. So. One. Two. One. Two. Second time. One. And now you come over to the verse, and the first chord in the verse is still an F major 7. Right? So you play that once, and then you come over to the next chord, and the next chord is a G dominant 7. So that's the first string on the second fret, the second string on the first fret, the third string on the second fret, and the fourth string open. And the next chord right after that is again a C major 7. And you're going to apply the same picking pattern which we had learned in the intro, which is this. But this time you only play it once, right? So altogether you would have something that sounds like this. And you're going to play that sequence for a total of 4 times. So you go... When a good thing ends And four da 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 Be back then And at the end you're gonna play this thing Which is you play the second string open And you play the third string open 
So you go, you and I will always be back then. And now you come over to the chorus and in the chorus, the first two chords don't really change. So you're going to play them the exact same way. And the third chord is a C major seven and you're going to play these four strings together. So as a reminder, you play the low E string, the third string, the second string and the first string. Right. And so you play these four strings and then you play the second string and then the third string. So you would have the picking pattern that sounds like this. And then again, you let go of that finger and then you play a C6. So you play these four strings again and you play the second and third string. So you go. Will happen, happening, happened. So right after that, there's a slight change again. So the first three chords still remain the same way. So you play. Right after this chord, there is a D dominant seven. Right? So you're going to bar the first four strings on the second fret, and then you're going to take a finger and you place it on the third fret on the first string. And you can strum it or you can roll it with your fingers this way. Right? So you play. Will happen, happening, happen. And you're going to play that again. So you go. Will happen again and again. Right? And on the fourth and final bit of the chorus, there's a slight change again. So you go. It's you and I will always be back then. Right? So the first two chords are still the same. And you apply the picking pattern, which you had learned in the intro and you go C major seven and then C major six. And now you come over to the bridge. So I'm going to play it for you and then I'm going to show you how to play it. If there was some amazing force outside of time to take us back where we were and hang each moment up like pictures on the walls inside a billion tiny frames so that we could see it all, all, all. So the first chord is a G minor 7. So you play the first string on the first fret, the second string on the first fret, the third string on the th second fret and the fourth string open. And you play all these four strings together or you can strum it this way. Right? So the next chord is a C dominant seven. So that's the first string on the first fret, the second string open, the third string open, and the low E string on the third fret. And the picking pattern goes like this. So you play these four strings together and then you play the second string and then the third string and then the low E string. So slowly that sounds like this. And you're going to play that for a total of two times. And now you come over to this chord, which is F major. So that's the first string open, the second string on the first fret, the third string open, and the fifth string on the third fret. And you're going to apply the same picking pattern. The only difference now is that your thumb is playing the fifth string instead of the sixth string. Right? So the next chord right after F major is D minor. So that's the first string open, 
the second string on the first fret, the third string on the second fret, and the fifth string open. And again, you apply the same picking pattern. So, all together, that sounds like this. So you're going to play that two times, and on the second time, there's a slight change at the end again. I know I keep saying this, but I'm going to play it for you, and we're going to go through it together. So. So these three chords is the D dominant 7, which we had learned. And now you're going to take that finger and you pull it away yet again. And now you have a D6, right? And right after that, you're going to have a G dominant 7. And you play all of those just once. So you go. And that's the end of the bridge. And right after the bridge, there's a small outro to end the song. goes like this will happen happening happen will happen happening happen and will happen again and again cuz you and I will always be back then you and I will always be back then that's why you and I will always be best friends So you take the chords which we had learned in the chorus section and you apply the picking pattern which we had learned in the bridge. So that would sound something like F major 7, G dominant 7, C major 7, C 6. Right? On, on the second time, just like in the chorus, there is an extra chord so you go And you play that again. So you go. And right after that, there's a slight change yet again. So you're going to play. Right? On the third chord, which is a C major 7, you're going to apply the picking pattern which you had learned in the intro. So you go. And on the second time, there's a slight change yet again. So you play. So you go. That's why. And on the final time, you're going to play. And that is basically the end. But if you want to play it, exactly like the live version, you're going to extend it and you're going to play the intro. So you go. And that concludes the entire song. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I also want to show you this thing that's been blurring in the background or rather in the foreground the entire time. It's my recorder. So thank you again so much for watching. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. And until next time, goodbye.